Okay, measuring the distance to the moon. Well, this is a familiar picture from lesson 35, where we had uh, the sort of angular diameter that we could see the moon. If you hold your thumb up at arm's length, you can just about block out the moon. And when Aristarchus did this, he determined that the moon subtended an angle of 0.5 degrees or 30 arc minutes. And we looked at that a couple of lessons ago. So from there, he was able to work out the distance to the moon as he knew its diameter. So you can see how these ideas are building upon each other. He knows the diameter of the moon now. If he knows it has an angle of 0.5 degrees, he can use that equation we used the other week and he can work out the distance to the moon. So there you go. Uh, we'll stick in, we'll stay, let's stay oh, on this video, I won't bother splitting that one up. So, relative distance to the sun. So next, Aristarchus wanted to find the relative distance between the sun and the moon. So like, how far away is the moon compared to how far away is the sun? So he waited until the moon was in its first quarter. So that's where it's at 90 degrees to the sun, just like this. And then he measured the angle between the moon and the sun in the sky. We don't know how he measured it, but he found a result of around 87 degrees. If we go back and look at this picture, that doesn't look like 87 degrees, but remember that the sun is very, very far away from the Earth and the moon, so it would be pretty close to 87 degrees. Um, and that works out then, if we do some trigonometry here, we've got tan of 87 is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. And we get a value of 19. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the opposite is 19 times bigger than the adjacent, which implies that the sun is 19 times further away than the moon is. Does that sound good? That's what he thought. Sun was 19 times further away than the moon. Uh, he was way out. The angle's closer to 90 degrees, and we know that the sun is around 400 times further away than the moon. So his method was valid, but the measurement was inaccurate. So this is a good idea to sort of understand here, the idea of a valid experiment. His experiment was valid, everything was good, like, the, you know, it, it was a good idea. It's just his measurement needed to be improved. Okay, let's finish that video there, and we'll pick up for Diameter of the Sun in the next video.